Man, listen. I am putting motherfucking people on notice. It is time for you to pay the fuck up. I'm seeing at its finest. And it's a bit yeah, I'm currently downtown in Johannesburg, South Africa, and I'm heading to the museum. There's some artwork I do want you guys to check out while I'm down here. Um, but in the meanwhile, check it out. Tell me what you think. Comment, post, you know. And again, I encourage you brothers and sisters out there to please support the movement, support the documentary. Again, I'm here producing something very powerful and significant when it comes to the healing traditions of Africans in particular, um, whether it be here in the motherland or whether it be there in the Americas or, you know, whenever you see this video, wherever you are at, um, the diaspora in general. My pen's infatuated with my page Words fucking in between the margins Turning notebooks into my sex slaves Dick them down rhymes sliding through your air canal Pounding on your eardrum Hitting the G spot like it's vaginal I got styles on stockpile That rock wild like dog bites Shaking down Rothschilds Put the barrel to their head Then pow pow No pow wows We ain't pals Fuck all them fake smiles I learned a while ago Who's my historical enemy Vampire parasite Sucking my energy Stop calling me your brother Cocksucker We ain't family Knowing damn well I turn my back when you'll be stabbing me I got that type of intuition I'm a Pisces, I be swimming with the fishes With the extra spidey senses Toxic soul food is malnutritious That's why I break the dishes carrying yeah, your Steve spirit it belongs I'm back at it Currently at the Museum of Africa In South Africa And um, I'm about to walk in here And see what's happening your whole story is fictitious, suspicious When you fidget and your pivots off center Greasy gimmick slipping Grimy ambitions, playing on your inhibitions You can't trick me when I clearly see your contradictions With 2020 vision At the third I'm hearing way beyond the clairvoyance voices that I heard I'm a nerd, that knows the higher functions of the vagus nerve So I can tell when you're relaxed or when your soul's disturbed Abelosi hearing whispers from the souls of birds Giving me answers when the lines are blurred Because I soar with the eagles, I don't travel with the herds I embody healing Magic. I'm a wizard with the herbs and I'm a wizard with the words Performing the sorcery But simultaneously conducting verbal surgery To cut the lifeline of assassins trying to murder me With weapons of the flesh while I'm killing them softly verbally During my exploration of the museum I was baffled to see a huge part of the building blocked off As an exhibit dedicated to the vile racist Mahatmas Gandhi Growing up, many of us were taught he was a man of peace However, he spent a great amount of time in his later years sanitizing his actions. And I have receipts. Here are several quotes from this racist who wanted to commit acts of genocide on native Azanians, currently known as South Africans. One of the first battles Gandhi fought after coming to South Africa was over the separate entrances for whites and blacks at the Durban post office. Gandhi objected that Indians were Class with the natives of South Africa, who he called Kafirs, and demanding a separate entrance for Indians. In a petition letter in 1895, Gandhi also expressed concerns that a lower legal standing for Indians would result in degenerating, so much so that from their civilized habits, they will be degraded to the habits of the aboriginal natives. In the generation hence, between the progeny of the Indians and the natives, there will be very little difference in habits and customs and thought. In an open letter to the NATO parliament in 1893, Gandhi wrote, I'd venture to point out that both the English and the Indian spring from a common stock called the Indo-Aryan. A general belief seems to prevail in the colony that the Indians are little better, if at all, than savages or the natives of Africa. Even the children are taught to believe in that manner, with the result that the Indian is being dragged down to the position of a raw Kafir. Protesting the decision of Johannesburg municipal authorities to allow Africans to live alongside with Indians, Gandhi wrote in 1904 that the council must withdraw the Kafirs from the location. About this mixing of the Kafirs with the Indians, I must confess, I feel most strongly I think it is very unfair to the Indian population and it is an undue tax on even the proverbial patience of my countrymen. 
in response to the White League's agitation against Indian immigration and the proposed importation of Chinese labor. Gandhi wrote in 1903, We believe also that the white race in South Africa should be the predominating race. Duh, that's how you motherfucker murder microphones. Bar the fuck up. Get your game up, my brothers and sisters out there. All of y'all. Because I am coming with that motherfucking heat. Fueled by the whole pantheon of the Orisha. Let's go. When elephants fight, the ants in the grass are suffering. The weak get trampled while perceived power is perishing. So pretty soon the earth is what the meek be inheriting. And I'm a proud African first, scratch the American. I can't claim barbarian labels disguised as noble. That truly is an infectious virus that spread global. Burn the copal and when the smoke clears, I'm like a noble. Precious gemstone amplifying hope for all the hopeless with my vocals. I travel foreign lands to visit locals. Fuck attractions, the crackers advertises as grandiose. Driving up gas prices at the fast tracks and Sunokos. Food prices. A double, economically troubled The depth ceiling's leaking, who's popping the debt bubble? Well, who's the most resilient rising out of the rubble? You see him, the man who turned words into museums Come examine the exhibits, I'm spitting, you're not dreaming Shall I say more? Or should you just pay attention? This shit is easy It's simple mathematics Astro geometry. You ain't too, you crazy for this one. Just finished touring the museum and, um, wasn't able, didn't have an opportunity to actually go into the hip hop part of it because it's closed. But I will be going back there probably sometime this week just to see what they got going on. Um, but overall, um, the museum is pretty small. It's not as big as a museum that you would expect in America, but it is some history in there that is valuable to think, to, um, to know about, especially if you're trying to understand this region of the world there are some things in there that we can um, definitely have a conversation in regards to um, the history. Um, one thing I do want to point out is that there is this particular exhibit in there about Gandhi. And I have a lot of reservations, a lot of issues regarding Gandhi pertaining to his racist ideologies and how he felt about people of the African ancestry here in Johannesburg, South Africa. <laughs> or in South Africa in general, the man was very racist and he actually wanted to commit genocide on African people. So many of us here in um, you know, the States, we don't know about that. You know what I mean? Well, many of us in the United States do not know about the racist history of Gandhi. But it needs to be told, it needs to be talked about. And um, yeah, that's just, that's a continual conversation to have. But overall, I did have enjoyed my experience in there. I can't wait to go back to actually look at the, um, the hip hop version or the hip hop aspect of the museum and also meet some of the hip hop artists here in South Africa because for those that do know me, they know I'm a hip hop artist myself and I handles my business when it comes to that microphone. So um, until then, I'm gonna sign off. I'll holler back at your brothers and sisters later. And um, oh yeah, before I go, please donate. Please donate to this cause that I got going on here. You can donate at a.ptah7 at gmail.com. That's from my PayPal. Or you can go to my GoFundMe page, or you can donate to my cash app, that's dollar sign, A-M-E-N-I-M-H-O-T-E-P-P-T-A-H. I'm in Imhotep Patah. All right? Peace, brothers and sisters.